Hi friends, how are you? I'm so glad you've joined us for worship this morning and I hope you've had a great week and had a good time celebrating the 4th of July this weekend. I'm back in my office today and so I thought maybe we should get back into the routine of picking up something from this office that might help remind us or maybe even teach us a new lesson about how we can love God and be more like him every single day. Are you ready for the thing that I have for us? Here it is. See that? It's a mirror. How many of you look in the mirror every day? See your face, make sure that you've brushed your teeth all the way and combed your hair and you're ready to go. Well, you know what? I think a mirror is a really good reminder for us about why God created us the way that he did. You know, all the way back in the book of Genesis, in the very first chapter, when God was creating, it was time for him to create us, people, his kids. And he said, let us make human beings in our image. I think he was talking about the Holy Spirit and, and Jesus. He wanted to create us to look like him. Think about that for a second. When is the last time you looked in the mirror and instead of saying, oh, I wish my eyes were a different color, I wish my hair wasn't curly on one side and straight on the other like mine is, that you just looked in the mirror and you said, cool, I look like Jesus. You know, sometimes we have a really hard time thinking about ourselves that way. And sometimes we have a hard time looking at other people in the world around us and saying, cool, they look like Jesus. It's interesting that God created us to look like him. And that means all of us, curly hair, straight hair, green eyes, brown eyes, blue eyes, bright white teeth, brown skin, black skin, yellow skin, white skin. We were made in the image and the likeness of God. And we're created to reflect like this mirror does. We're created to reflect God's glory into the world around us. But if all we're doing is spending time wishing that we looked more like this or more like that, or assuming that we know what somebody is like based just on what they look like, that's not a great reflection of the glory or the heart of God. God created us because he wants to have a relationship with us. And if we're created in the image of God, that means we should want to have relationships with other people the same way that God wants to have a relationship with you and with me, just because he loves us. And if we're gonna reflect more about who God is and what he's done for us, that means we need to love ourselves and each other a little bit more. We need to be a little bit more kind to one another. We need to be more patient with one another. We need to do more things that are helping the world and the people around us. And when we're doing all of those things, we're being faithful. Faithful to the God who loves us and the God who created us because there is nothing else in all of creation that was made to look like Jesus besides us, his kids. I'm sure glad that you were made to look like Jesus. I'm glad that I was made to look like Jesus and I'm gonna try harder this week to look in the mirror and say, cool, I look like Jesus. And when I see other people around me, I wanna try a little bit harder to remember and to say, cool. You look like Jesus and to love them the same way that God loves me. He loves you so much, friends. I hope you know that. I hope you remember that. 
And every time you look in the mirror this week, remember, you look like Jesus. I love you so much. Have a great day.